Sagittarius, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. We are going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future to book a private session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Join me on Instagram. Today, I will be premiering my official logo for the Fantasy Lighthouse, so you want to be able to check that out. The link to my Instagram account can be found in the description box. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to energies that surround Sag in the recent past. Talk to me about energies that surround Sagittarius in the recent past. Tell me more about that. Energies surrounding Sag. Tell me more, please. Okay. One more. for Sag. Okay. There's a lot of water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Libra energy present here as well. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone that has those signs or you could have that in your own birth chart. I feel like there's somebody here going after this person who has turned their back, okay? Now, let me show you what I'm talking about, right? So, we have this Knight of Cups, and he's after this person that has walked away or is leaving. Somebody's traveling or planning to escape something, I don't know if you're the one who is after somebody or if somebody is after you. However, there's this energy present here of needing to have justice and peace in a situation. So somebody could actually be removing themselves to have this, right? So somebody is looking for tranquility or just for things to just calm down. We have someone who's really emotional about the situation. I feel like this individual is low-key upset about something. I don't know if you know about this already. You probably do. Somebody's irritated here, whether it's you or someone around you. Energies are never linear. This is definitely transferable. So I could be talking about somebody else. I could be talking about you. This is in your environment in the recent past, okay? So let's clarify the justice card. Clarify the justice card being present here for Sag. Why is that? Why is the justice card here for Sag? Tell me more about that. Tell me more about that, please. Okay. Page of Swords. Who is watching who, Sag? Are you watching somebody or is somebody watching you? Okay, because that's what's going on here. It's like somebody's leaving and one of you is just watching the person go but still keeping tabs. There's distance here, but there's also the need to squash something, okay? Now we have even more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with those signs. However, this is someone that's putting logic over their emotions at this point. Let me clarify the page of swords. Somebody's watching. Who is this? Is Sagittarius watching somebody? Oh, God. Well, <clears throat> we have Capricorn energy showing up here, okay? Some of you guys could be watching a Capricorn, dealing with a Capricorn. That's for some of you. Or you could actually have that in your birth chart, right? But Capricorn is the devil in tarot, all right? I would show you the cards, but I don't want to get flagged because these two people here are naked. Now, you're watching something that you feel is toxic. This is addictive. 
You can't stop thinking about it. I feel like you want to stop, but you don't stop. So therefore something has to be done about it or you wish that you could stop thinking about a certain person or a situation. What does Sagittarius have to do in order to stop thinking about this person or this situation? What does Sag have to do, Spirit? What does Sag have to do? What does Sag have to do? What does Sag, okay. You just gotta stop. And I don't know what you have to stop. You just gotta close it out. How do you plan on doing that? We have even more Capricorn energy here. What's going on? Like, is this person worldwide? Because we have the world card here. So what does Sag have to do? The world is a completion, 360. How is Sag gonna wrap this up? The Ace of Swords, like, you gotta cut it out, you gotta cut it off, something's gotta go, someone needs to go, and I don't know who that is for you in your life. This could be a habit that needs to stop, a way of thinking, a behavior, a connection, social media, something that you keep doing that keeps you confined. Now talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. Talk to me about the present for Sag here. What energies surround Sag in the present? Okay, so we have Scorpio energy coming out here. This is transformation. So in the present moment, you're undergoing this big change Something is no more, right? So it's like, how am I going to continue or something like that? Or how can I keep going after this? And I don't know what that this is. That's just what's coming to me as I'm doing your reading. The moon is actually in Sagittarius today, all right? You're very bold. Things are getting spicy. I feel like you're daring. You want to dare to do something? Hmm. Judgment, so resurrection. What are you trying to resurrect, Sag? What is this Scorpio energy all about? Talk to me about Okay, so let me show you. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, okay? So this can go two ways, all right? Let me tell you the first way that I see it. So the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, like you could be dealing with an earth sign that you're trying to reconnect with, but you're viewing this person as very difficult, which is why Capricorn energy, the devil is showing up in some way, okay? It's a challenge. This is somebody that you feel is testing you, okay? That's one way. Another way this is going, pentacles also speak to money, right? So you're trying to figure out a way to be lucrative when it comes to how you are going to create more revenue streams for yourself because I feel like you want to be an entrepreneur and you don't want to work for anybody anymore. And if you do own your own business, then you're just trying to 
downsize in some way. It's like you don't need all of these people. All you need is like two or something like that, okay? So we're either talking about money or we're talking in the context of love. It's gonna be up to you to verify the metaphor here, okay? Now, tell me more about the present. All right, so now we have Libra here and then we have Taurus. Taurus and Libra, these two have been a theme for you, I feel, right? Venus, the planet of love and beauty. You could know a Libra and a Taurus that have amazing aesthetics. It's like the way that they look, their hair, their makeup, just their face, their dimples, their body. There's something that you love about the Libra and the Taurus, okay? is what I'm getting here. The Empress grows, that's what she does and she helps other people grow, okay? So Libra and Taurus have those qualities where they are pushing you forward, they are giving you inspiration, they are giving life. The Empress is pregnant in this image and she loves to be outside like, She's outside, <laughs> okay? She's outside. So as you can see, could have light hair for some of you. Now, Sagittarius energy is pulling up here, okay? This is you wanting to speak to this Taurus Libra quality person, whether they are a Libra or a Taurus or not, they possess the qualities that this air sign and this earth sign has. You want to talk to somebody. I see it here. This card belongs to you and it speaks to messages going out. So why aren't you talking to this person then? Why is Sag not talking to this person? Because you feel like they left. You feel like this person left or that they're not interested or they are giving you the cold shoulder or something like that. Now let's talk about the future really quick. What do you have in the future for Sag? when it comes to this person or situation. What do you have in the future for Sag? What's in the future for Sag, please? The future for Sag. You do not like to tell anybody your business, bro. <laughs> okay. Um, Scorpio energy in the future, but this is also the death card, okay? So, Pluto energy, dark shit. Um, sometimes it's okay to be in shadow energy. You need that in order to know how you're going to change your ways, okay? So, Scorpio energy is not a negative energy to be in, okay? The death card in the future. So something's ending or changing, all right? Whether it be in reference to your job or this could be a connection that you have or a commitment that's ending, okay? I feel like if you are in a commitment, you're stuck. <laughs> you feel like you're stuck, but I feel that you got yourself into that. It's boring too, like you're stuck. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you're stuck, you're bored. You're not sexually satisfied. You are constantly looking for stimulation elsewhere and it's just not doing it for you, but it's comfortable, the money's okay, and it's a nice place. You know, if you are single, I feel like 
you know who you want already and you know what you want. So in order to get that, there's something about your behavior that needs to change in order to attract this person's attention that you're trying to attract by being a dickhead, an asshole, or whatever you want to call yourself, whether male or female, because females can be dickheads too, you know, by behaving like that, then doesn't necessarily mean that you can attract this person back into your life. There's something about your attitude that needs to change so that they can see that you are trying to do something different. You're not going to get someone's attention behaving the same way. You have to think outside of the box. Have you done anything spontaneous or different to get their attention? Do you always approach them in the same manner? You know, I feel like if you're single, you know who you want and what you want. It depends on how you plan on changing the approach. Now, tell me more about this future energy. Something's ending there in the future for Sag. What is that? Okay, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So some of you guys are dealing with another fire sign. And, you know, that's going straight to the death card. Okay, let me show you. If you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, you see he's on his horse, right? There he is, but it goes straight into the death, bro. So um, that's something for you to think about. Tell me more. The King of Swords energy. There could be an Aquarius that already knew about this and, and you just weren't listening. Yeah, you need somebody to talk to. I see that, you know, I see that. Well, talk to either talk to the the air sign or the water sign or something like that. There's somebody trying to be nice to you. Okay. But then you also have somebody that's upset with you. But they're upset with you because of your attitude and the way that you behave. That's what it comes down to. So if you change that, then you'll get what you want. If you're not willing to alter yourself a little bit, because I know that you feel like there's nothing wrong. Because a lot of Sagittarians are like that. You know, you just don't want to change who you are. You will if you love somebody enough. You know, it's not changing who you are. It's changing the way that you are. That's what it is. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Please join me on Instagram. The link is below. Thank you for watching. Take care.